want me to summarize chapter one of AP Lit? Um, well, it was all about my first day of my uptight teacher, Miss Walks class. I made some new friends, Andrew became my reading partner, and Lily and Isaiah partnered up, but apparently they wanted to do more than just read. Then Andrew ditched, so I ended up with Darla and Emily, but I partnered back up with Andrew and Emily and Darla had to fend for themselves. The whole episode dealt with themes of loyalty and wealth and conscious. Oh, and the end? Well, I walked in on Janie and Whitney talking about writing Darla's essay. And that brings us to episode two of You wrote Darla's essay? Yeah, are you in the market for one? How much? 200 for the Ivies, but we have more economical options. Your soul is only worth $200. So I'm guessing you don't want one. No! You've been in the class for two weeks. Why are you already trying to get kicked out? Who's trying to get kicked out? Uh, I was looking for my water bottle and Ivy thought we were trying to miss the media lesson. Oh, I can help you find your water bottle. I lose things all the time. No, no, it's it's fine. I, I just really, I I, I want to get good seats, you know? Let's, let's not be late. Well, class, I hope that you all enjoyed yesterday's lesson in the Media Center. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about morality. Like, when you die, you're thinking of mortality. N no, I'm thinking about morality, because if no one was scared of dying, no one would have any morals. That's stark. And so is our new novel, The Heart of Darkness. Jenny, don't look now. Don't look now usually means look now. That's really confusing. What am I looking at exactly? <gasps> Ivy, look at that little smug face she has. She's gonna snitch on us both and ruin our lives. Sister, where are you going? Miss Walk, I have to Ivy! Huh, Jenny, what? I think we should be partners for this week's project, and if we're gonna be partners, we should start working on an essay right now because you know this, what they say. The better the start of the essay, the better the essay as a whole. Well, I mean, I guess you are good at writing essays. Is that why people always say I love writing so much? Yes, and I know we're going to love writing this essay for Heart of Darkness, so we should go start working on that right now. Thank you for your time, Ms. Walk. You are welcome. Hey, man, can we talk and by what I mean? Because I, I really need to confide in someone. Yeah. Oh, hey, Emily. I was wondering if you want to be my partner for the project. What do you think? What do I think? Well, I think about a lot of things. I mean, like, this morning I was no. thinking about... No, I meant about being my partner. Hey, sorry to interrupt this super cute convo that's happening here, but I just have a couple of questions. One, why would Emily not be partners with me? And two, is it true that Shane, like, totally used your credit card to buy gifts for other girls? And now your credit score is, like, really low. Like, so low you can't even get a one-bedroom apartment on the bad side of a small town type low. Hey, Darla, do you want to be my partner since nobody else wants you? What about your little basset hound? Are you gonna miss seeing his giant ears flopping around? You know what, he's really insecure about those, so don't mention that in front of him. Oh my god! I hope Isaiah doesn't hear me talking about his giant misshapen ears! Hey, it's been nice catching up, but I gotta go. <laughs> Just like Bristol. Is everyone with their partners? No, I'm not with my partner. Neither am I. Well, it looks like the two of you should be partners, and everyone else needs to be reading. Layla, I think we're partnered since no. Janie and... No, uh, I'm looking for my hat. The one on your head? What? Oh, I didn't even realize I had lost this. Action. Hey, so I didn't actually want to be partners for this week's project. Then why are you wasting my time? I need to talk to you about what you saw the other day. Unless you're a certified optometrist, then what I see is none of your business. I... Can we read now? Yeah, sure. Do you think I'm a melodramatic person? I think you should focus on the reading for a bit. <sighs> Crystal said I could never focus. I'm, I'm sorry about- I was about just trying to focus on her! Are you, like, committed to this? The book? This hairstyle. It makes your face look boxy-er. 
I just, I just, I just gave her so, so much. I just. Maybe you should give her some more, like a little gift. Like, like, like what? I don't know, something you can get online, uh, order, like, right now. Genius. Yeah, yeah, you get right on that. And as you've ordered it, you should go talk to Crystal about pairing back up. Hey, Crystal! I need a huge favor. Look, I don't want Shane, but I'm not going to set Carrie up with him. I'd be like going to a hair salon with just a little bit of lice. I love hair salons. Uh, no, I don't need you to set them up. I need you to talk her out of liking him. You're her best friend, why can't you? She's in too deep, just look at her. She's been following him everywhere. Around the school, around town. Last night, I'm pretty sure she camped outside his window. Good. Shane is always crazy about me. Maybe he deserves someone just as insane. But why does it have to be <laughs> Gary? Annie, 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 you are not gonna believe it. He's buying me a present. Really? What is it? Don't be jealous, Crystal. You had your chance with Shane and you wasted it. I'm not jealous, just morbidly interested. What's the gift? It's this gorgeous handmade t-shirt that has the prettiest little font in it, and it says, I'm sorry, Crystal. Wouldn't that be for Crystal? Uh, no, it's ironic. It's like I can say sorry for taking your boy to like Crystal, but also, I'm not sorry at all. Talk to her. Talk to her. Talk to her! That's my bag. What? Oh! That's why I couldn't find any of my stuff. I've been where you are. I know, you sit over here every day. I mean about the essay thing. I was mortified when Whitby told me, but she eventually whittled me down, I guess. Wow, I'm so glad you're so incredibly weak, but I have willpower to maintain my morals. That's not what I meant. Then what did you mean? Well... Look, I'm telling the walk at the end of this class, so since this might be the last 30 minutes that you ever spend in this school, I'd make the most of it. Ivy is not budging. Well, I just lost my car keys. Twice. Why did she have your car keys? I don't know. And every time I ask, she just forgets. Wanna switch? Do you have a car? Yes. Hide the keys. Hi, Janie. Hey. Janie told me y'all were struggling to see eye to eye. More like moral to mar- Cool. Now you're gonna listen. I need money. Essays give me money, so I sell them. And I'm not okay with that. I don't care. You're not the one selling them. But, but school is my life. I don't have hobbies. I don't have friends. I have my education. And you selling these essays could take four more years of that away. <laughs> so it's fair that none of my family's ever gone to college. So it's fair that my broke mother and my deadbeat father doesn't save a cent for me. So it's fair that I work 30 hours just to put food on the table for my siblings. Because let me tell you, it's a no. There's nothing fair about the college system, and I have no reason to abide by its rules. I'm sorry. Don't, don't be sorry. sorry. Just don't try to stop me. You know, there are scholarships, like a lot of them. I could help you apply for free legally. Um, I, I would appreciate that. Hey, Darla, I was wondering. Watering holes could... that way, Dumbo. Sorry, I thought you were that pathetic little elephant for a second. I was wondering if you wanted to change back and to the And I movie. was wondering if you wanted to switch out of this class and never speak to me again. No, darn. Guess we can't all get what we want. Play nice, Darla. Sorry. Cruelty's my love language. Uh, are, uh, you're saying my love language? Am I wearing a please bother me sign? What's your love language, Shane? <sighs> Did you just audibly sigh? I'm trying to reach him. Then stop sighing. <laughs> 
I didn't sigh. Y yes, you did. The moment I mentioned one of my passions, you sighed deeply. That's your definition of deep? You're not a part of this, Darla. And neither is Crystal's shallow sigh. I didn't sigh. In fact, you're not even a part of this. Isaiah was pestering me when you came over here. Of course I am. You're sharing my love languages. Stop sighing! Oh, sorry. I bought you a shirt. I know. I, I thought he bought this shirt for Carrie. Why would I buy a shirt for Carrie? I didn't even want the shirt. It's okay if you do. I really do. Uh -huh. Do you want to sit by me at the pep rally? The pep rally? Students, you should have reminded me. Grab your stuff and let's go. We'll run out the door and we nobody will even know that we're not there. So, uh, can we keep the Crystal's car? No. Oh, how about Edgar Hap? Uh, no, Carrie. That's a terrible idea. Do you want to sit by me, partner? Uh, I can't. Presidential duties. Oh, go serve our school. A swing and a miss. Stay in the outfield, Darla. I love baseball. That's, that's great. Emily? Just be careful, McCarthy. Wouldn't want to see you strike out. I think you would want to see him strike out. Yeah. <laughs> you coming, Andrew? I, no, I'm just going to sit here and read. Oh. Well, I'll stay with you. You sure? I wouldn't want you to miss your first pep rally. My old school had plenty of pep rallies. I doubt I'll miss much. Are you staring at me? Uh, no. You're kind of cute when you stare. Can I kiss you? No. Mm -hmm.